So what we want to see is the durability of the osimertinib response for these patients. And uh, again, uh, this study has been published uh, in the Journal of Clinical Oncology before, uh, but we want to follow up whether uh, some of the key items has some changes. Um, we confirmed that the response rate has been very high for these patients, both in uh, 80 milligram cohort and 160 milligram cohort at 67% uh, and 87% in, in, in each cohort. And uh, um, the durability of these uh, patients' response has been very long. Um, the uh, median duration of response is pr approximately 20 months. So this is very similar to what we have found in the FROR study. Uh, but what we really want to see is the long-term uh, durability. Uh, up to now, at the time of data cutoff, uh, 11 patients are still receiving the treatment. And uh, um, uh, the, the uh, three years cut off, a three year cut off that is 36 months, 25% um, of the patients are still there. And at the uh, four year cut off, 18% of the patients still have durable response. And in terms of progression free survival, uh, if we use three months as a cut off, 20% uh, were still uh, uh, progression free. And at uh, four years, 14% uh, are still progression free, estimated by couple of miles curves. So this gives us some confidence that these drugs may have a very durable response uh, in progression free time for at least some of the patients who receive osimertinib as a first line.